Hi everyone, this is my top revision tips vlog for anyone who is revising for any kind of exam. Um, there are techniques that you can adopt to make sure that you maximise your chances uh, for success in your exams. Um, I remember through the education system, I absolutely hated the word exam. I decided really early on that exam was the most hated word of the English language, surely. It just sounds horrible to even say it. And um, it is a scary thing, but you're privileged to be taking exam because it means that you're part of a good education system. It's a reality of life and you have to do it. So learn the techniques and do it well and, you know, get the best grade that you deserve. So, um... What I'm going to do is share with you the top tips that I've learnt in doing well in exams. Uh, and that's not to say I've done well in every exam, I definitely haven't. But um, there are definitely techniques that I learnt along the way that help. Um, when I arrived in England and English was my third language, um, I remember the first few exams I did, I was in a science lesson once, and it was asking me something about if you increase or decrease something, what will the effect of it be? And I couldn't understand the word decrease. Like, I knew it meant, like, make something less or more, but I didn't know which one it was. Um, so I put my hand up and asked the teacher, like, what does that mean? But he thought I was asking what's the answer to the question, and then he kind of said, well, I can't say that melody. And I ended up getting it, but I knew the answer if I just knew what that word meant. So um, I could have kind of seen that as a green flag for, okay, well, you know, I've got a valid excuse. I don't need to kind of worry about it. But no, it just meant that I had to work a lot harder than everyone else and think of creative methods for exam revision. And I remember when I was at university and doing a law degree, yes, a law degree is, it is difficult, but all it is, it's just about memorising. Memorising cases, memorising the important points of information and just redrawing that at the right time. <coughs> to excuse me to be able to to do well in an exam that's all it is so here are my top tips okay and by the way I've put this down into text form which I'm going to put a link in the video for you to see in my um, blog under melodyasaini.com and go on to um, like um, news and views I think it's called and under there there's blogs so <coughs> excuse me, sorry I keep coughing, I'm getting over a cold. Um, so yeah, so that will be up on there in text form as well. Okay, so the first thing is, find a good spot that you can focus in. Find a space, you know, a desk, library, something where you feel, yes, I can focus here. Because if you feel happy in a space and you feel like, yeah, this is my kind of, I'm in my area, I'm in my zone, then I think you can focus a lot better. So find that space that you can focus in, okay, that you feel comfortable in and make it yours, you know, because I think that space is very important. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, and this is something that drove my family crazy, is repetition. 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 It makes you remember something if you repeat it. For example, right, they say that, um, you know, when you meet someone, you might forget their name. Well, one of the tricks to kind of um, prevent you from forgetting someone's name is using their name straight away. So you say, you know, Melody, this is Peter, Peter, this is Melody. Hi, Peter, it's really nice to meet you. And because you've said their name and you've repeated the name, it stays in your mind. Same with revision repeat it. If you need to remember a case or you need to remember a formula or something like that, say it over and over again out loud, it will stay in your mind. And it used to drive my family crazy because I used to sit there and just repeat all these random things to, to remember, but it works. Um, the second thing, th sorry, the third thing is that, so you find a good space, uh, repeat things. The third thing is um, word association. So, for example, right, if I had to, um, and I use this as an example because I did a law degree, but, you, you know, it could be anything, any subject. Um, if I had to remember a case and it was like uh, Barrow versus, you know, um, 
whatever, the state or something. Like Barrow, I would draw a wheelbarrow and then, you know, and make associations to images is a very powerful tool. Um, you can make associations to anything really that is rememberable for you. You have to, it's a very personal thing because obviously it's got to trigger something in your mind. So, so draw an image that triggers uh, what you need to remember for the point that you're revising. So word associations like that are can be very powerful, particularly if you're a very visual person, which links to my next thing, which is um, if you are a visual person, then stick things up in your room. So say, for example, if there's like a really important um, point that you need to remember, say for maths, you know, there's a formula or, you know, in English, there's, you know, something that you really like need to remember or then then just write it up. Put it in a creative way. You can get like some colourful paper or something or post-its or something and stick it up in your room somewhere where you're going to see it. And even if you don't see it every day, like you don't actually stop and read it every day, you don't go, oh, you know, staring at it for ages. It doesn't matter because even if it meets your eye um, on a subconscious level, it's still going in which is how advertising works, <laughs> by the way, you know? So advertising, you won't stop there and, you know, take in everything that it's telling you. But because it, subconsciously it is going in your head, so it's working. Same with revision. So, yeah, m put things up so you can, even on a subconscious subconscious level, it's going in your mind. Um, which goes with my next point. Because although subconsciously you are kind of taking in points around... Um, things you're seeing, the same way for things you're hearing. So, um, you, what I, <laughs> this is something I did. I, um, it, well, in those times, I'm not that old, but in those times I had like a tape recorder thing and I just pressed record and, you know, now you can do it on your phone or your laptop or whatever, obviously, but I pressed record and I would just repeat things that I needed to remember to revise. So it's, I would just talk it out loud and record it. And then while I was doing menial tasks, like painting my nails or, I don't know, chilling with friends or doing whatever, I would press play on the tape. I, I know that sounds really weird, but on a subconscious level, even if you're not there kind of thinking, I'm listening to this, I need to take it in and pressurising your brain, it's still taking in lots of information on a subconscious level. And you can listen to that in the background and it's still going in. So if that works for you, if you like the sound of, you know, doing that, then try it and see, you know, and see what the effects of it are. It definitely worked for me. Um, my next tip is talk about it to someone, explain the thing that you're revising to a friend. So say it's a hi say it's history, you know that's your topic or whatever, you know, and you're explaining um an uh, you know an area of time or point in history that you need to be learning and you need to be understanding the different you know elements and and you've got some uh you know mock questions or something. Sit and explain that to someone just verbally. Don't worry so much about every single detail because if you can explain it and you can understand like the bigger picture of that issue um whatever it is, then it's a lot easier to um, kind of write it and come to terms with it, you know? Um, I think revision isn't just about, like, this. It, it depends what topic you're obviously revising, but it isn't just about the, the very, you know, word for word, this is it. Um, particularly with subjects that aren't like maths or science, they obviously are very specific things. But if it's broader than that, say you're doing RE, you know, or, um, you know, um, sociology or you know um an area or something more like that where you can it's broader than just a formula or something then being able to talk about it and understand parameters and understand the idea and the bigger picture will help you to form your views and to also be able to uh, feel more comfortable about that subject so the other thing is um do you know how it's really funny that you find it hard to remember like certain bits um, that you're revising, and yet you you can remember lyrics from like a hundred years ago. <laughs> it's really funny how that happens. Have you ever wondered why we remember lyrics to a song? And that is because um, the way that the brain works is that we can take in um, 
a mel I was going to say melody, but it's, it just sounds ridiculous. But we can take in music, can't we? You know, you, you, your brain works like that. So one of the things that I did, and again, <laughs> this, this will feel weird doing it, but believe me, it works, is that you take, a, say, a sentence that you have to remember and sing it. Literally make a jingle of that sentence and repeat it. And believe me, years to come, you will not forget it. So if it's something very important, then do that. Or, you know, you don't have to make up a piece of music. Just sing, say, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, but replace the words with what you need to remember, for example. You know, so you'll remember the, the tune and then do that. And that that is extremely effective. And that is why you remember lyrics for years to come, because you've applied a piece of music, a piece of, piece of tune to it. So that's the thing. Um, my other couple of tips are start early. Um, by that I mean start early in the day. So, you know, in the morning when your mind is fresh, you know, get up, have some breakfast and then sit down and do some work. Because by the evening you'll feel, okay, I've done enough and now I can relax a little bit and get some sleep. Um, so, you know, it's a healthy pattern. Whereas if you start later in the day, you think, oh, I haven't done enough and then you end up staying up till late and then you're tired the next morning and you'll be able to focus less. So it's very important to be disciplined, I think. If you've got a very important exam coming up, it's worth it, so do it. Um, <coughs> and then my other little thing is about, um, you know, what you're eating and drinking. Don't go without food or starve yourself because your brain needs, you know, the, the brain power. And one of the things that I say is eat easy to eat and, you know, if you're on the go, is, is a banana because it's rich in potassium. It's, it's you know, it's, it gives you energy. And, um, it, you know, it's important to keep that up and drink lots of water as well. And um, the other thing is, um, you know how sometimes you try and retrieve a memory and you'll remember how the place looked at the time and one of the things when you're revising because you're trying to retrieve that memory quite clearly one of the tips is to declutter and I don't just mean around you but I also mean on the page that you're writing for example like you know if you're making lots of doodles and you know um, little it looks messy when in your exam you're trying to retrieve that image of that page where you wrote that thing down it'll be messy in your mind and you'll think which where was that and you, you'll remember the doodles actually as well especially if you've got a very like graphic kind of memory you know so my suggestion is keep things doodle free and you know quite neat and decluttered because it will retrieve your memory better now these are some of the tips that you can employ while you're revising. So this is a revision um, uh, tip, top tips vlog. But in the exam, it's worth saying as well, one of my top tips in the exam uh, um, are, firstly, take a deep breath, relax. Because you can retrieve memory and information so much more effectively than if you're stressing yourself out, you're looking at the time, you're doing this, you're doing that, you know, you're turning the page and going crazy, then it's much harder to retrieve information, okay? So relax, take a deep breath. My second thing is read the question carefully. Everyone will say that to you, but it's so important. Stop, read, and make sure that you've understood what it's asking you to do, okay? very very important and thirdly when you've read the question you'll think a hundred and million one things straight away or you know you, you, your mind will retrieve you know very very quickly information have a, a blank piece of paper or you know they give you uh, like a notes uh, like a note uh, page don't they like where you can take notes and do a draft or whatever use it quickly before you start jot down the things that come to you write it down because once you start writing you may have forgotten those like things that came to you straight away so write that down and then you've got it there and then you know once you've done your question you can go through that and make sure you've included everything you wanted to include and my tip is as well you know try and do a, a not a not a draft you haven't got time in an exam to do a draft but um, you know, just in, in bullet point, um, make sure you kind of think, okay, I need to include X, Y, Z, and then start writing. And look at the time as well, you know? 
So, so yeah, those are my top tips for revision and I wish you all the best, whether you're in school doing exam, whether you're at college, university, you're doing a qualification, um, I wish you all the best and good luck. And make sure you find us on Twitter and tweet me if you found it useful and tweet about the YouTube video and pass it on to people who you think may find it useful. Lots of love and good luck. Bye.